On the show this week, we're going to meet Katie, mother of two, 58, feels stuck in a rut. So let's watch the video she sent us. I badly, badly need some help. I have been doing the same thing with my hair, my makeup and my clothes for the last, I don't know how long. I wear pretty much black all the time. I just would love someone to, to help me. Last year, I'd been at a tennis club where I worked for the last over 30 years and then suddenly everything went wrong and I, I left. And with that, I lost a lot of really what I thought were close friends and then you just end up feeling insignificant. Good Katie. morning. Intimate in the car, yes. Katie. So I watched your video and I saw that it was, I've done the same look yes. for 30 or even you said 40 years. Yes, I'm afraid so. In the last couple of years, I think things have changed for me job-wise. Okay. Well, um, how have they changed job-wise? So I worked for 20 years in marketing for large, large businesses. Yeah. And I used to commute into London and it was, you know, rush, rush, rush. But yeah. it was fine. But I always played tennis. Tennis was my passion. And about five years ago, I had the opportunity to to uh, cover for um, a tennis coach friend of mine. Mm -hmm. You're well, that good. Uh, well, That's impressive. Uh, I, well, well, yes, 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 take it, yes, take it. yes, yes, yeah. anyway. And I never looked back, so mm -hmm. I upskilled myself a bit. I was working at the club last year, um, big upheaval at the club. It was basically a big change of, of scene, and I left the club amidst um, lots of fallings out. So at that moment in time, I lost lots of friends who were part yeah, of that yeah, club, yeah. and it just, it was just a, a massive, massive thing in, yeah. in my life, along with that some of my friends didn't contact me so you took a I knock you, you, so yeah, re a real yeah. real knock to my confidence but during the lockdown i was aware, i was on my own for a, l a long, long time. time yeah and um then my daughter came back and now she went then she went to the university which is like at the end of the universe it's like five or six hours in yeah. the car yeah. so i think all you those things lonely. i felt really really yeah. alone yeah and what i hear from you katie is you want to evolve who you are you don't want yes. to lose yourself in that process yes but you want to discover the next phase of you exactly yeah you want to feel that you can present the woman you feel you are inside because you're still that woman but because sometimes circumstances we do fall out with people it can be painful and it can harden us against creating new friendships but we all need friendships yes in life. yes the lipstick Yes, so my 60s, lipstick. 80s kind of thing. <laughs> it's doing nothing for your lips. And but you say, I don't have lips. They're I know, but them, it makes awful. me feel there's even less. Your mum would have done it. She, she did. Yeah, she did. And, you're and she did the blue and liner. The and blue I liner. hated it. Oh, you do not need to do this. I bet we're now ready to do some shopping. This is the five minute challenge. And what that means is, Katie, you've got to go and get three outfits for me. What's the wow that you would wear? Right. You do it for you, I'm gonna do it for you. We'll meet back here in five minutes. Okay. I would never wear anything like this. I do want to see her in this, because I think that's kind of pretty. But this is something I'm gonna choose. <laughs> I wouldn't wear that. So stability and height and the continuation of your leg, a wedge is brilliant for petite. I'm looking for black and I can't see anything black, obviously. Long floaty dresses for the summer. Such a pretty colour. Oh my God, I can't wear any of this. Super chic fabulousness. So a plain white shirt, it's not exactly a wow. That belt, sorry, I'm sidetracked because that is the most glorious belt and I have to get one for myself and one for her because it's, it's fantastic. It's just magical, it's a fish. So I'm finding lots of things that I won't wear and I'm not finding anything that I can wear. I want to challenge her on everything. It's like I want to try 10 things on, Katie. I know I'm only supposed to try two, but... No, because I, that's too shapeless. It's not going well. That as a cohort could be even better. I can't find a single thing. What is that wowza moment in here? So I've got to find three outfits and I can't find a single one. It's very difficult to think of patterns and see which one you suit. So I've got to get something sexy. So you need to put the pattern up and think, do I see the pattern first? or do I see my face and do that without makeup on? Something to wear to lunch. And if you still see your face before the pattern, you suit the pattern. And what was the other one? Help. But I'm hardly gonna feel sexy in this, am I? I know she's having a tough time finding it. And this is the challenge, is when you don't know what suits you, it's so difficult to shop. 
So let's see what she comes back with. Katie. Hello, Trini. It's, it's not gone well. Can I, I just say nothing. this? There's nothing. Looks nice. Look, it would look nice on you, but it would come yes. down to my knee. With that underneath, you were thinking? Well, I wasn't really. I was grabbing that as a desperate thing. How many of these were in your cupboard? A few. I got that because it had got the uh, shoulder pads like you like. That's yes. a really good idea. This was another little jacket that I got. It's I've got to say, I, I like don't it. mind it. So you were thinking that for your sexy look. It's Should we go inside and start yes. trying things on? I've also got, oh, actually, I've got something Another else. black top that looks the same. <laughs> no, no, Please. It's a black dress. It's, it's a really, broken it's, record, it's, Katie. It's actually... Outfit number one. What I like about this, look in the mirror. You can wear print, it doesn't wear you. So when you buy cords, you've got to think how you wear them so it doesn't feel like a set of pajamas. Yes. And then I want you to put a hand in a pocket and sort of start to feel you own it as a look. I love it. I'm unsure. I, I would normally say no to green, only because it was my school uniform. Normally, you would not go for a long line jacket because you think it drags no. you down. Mm -hmm. But when you wear a long line jacket over a cord, the cord is one piece of fabric from your neck to your ankles. So there's an elongation when you continue with the same print all the way. It doesn't drag you down. It's not you're wearing a top in white and jeans in blue, which will cut you in half. I think it needs to grow on me because I think it's just so different to, to obviously, which obviously I want to be different. Yeah. All right, so, but how do you feel just looking at this? I quite like the shirt, actually. Yeah. I like the print. This shoe with the crop trouser, mm -hmm. I think actually, oddly, can make you taller because you see ankle. It's very white. I wonder if you yeah. don't suit white, you suit off-white. Like that, actually, that color is better on you, darling. I like the outfit. I like the print of the shirt, and I, I, I like this. I feel comfortable in it. I love most the idea of a black trouser, which you crop, you take up this yes. much the Birkenstock. I love that Yes. as an idea. That's elegant, cool. And let's try the next outfit. I feel very voluminous, like I'm going to take off, but I really like the print, actually. Yeah, you do. I, Suddenly you're falling in love with prints today, and you can so wear prints. So I think I just look at them and I think, how? You get scared. Yes. All right, so this is just when you talked about lengths, Katie, yes. and how long you think you can wear things and how long you should. And you've mm -hmm. always worn very mini. Yes. Because you're petite and you've got long legs and a short body, I go from boobs <laughs> hanging over straight the belt. hanging <laughs> over the waist. And we don't want that, do we? No. I feel it right makes here. your boobs look like old boobs. They look like saggy. Sa I mean, you know, well, your bra, bra is also bra not being helped. Yeah. But take that away. And I have it like that. You just have a shopper you do like over there. There's that woman, she's in Zara shopping and I'm following her around because I'm saying, where's your dress from, please? Next outfit. I think I'm always conscious of feeling short and fat. And does this make me look short and fat? Okay, let's does ask it? the yeah. honest 30 year olds in the room. <laughs> she looks super chic and she looks much taller. Fabulous. We have found our wowzer. All right, let's get it all off. Let's get back in our clothes. Let's go to the hairdresser. Okay, that's done. You've got a weighty bag. I have indeed, Trini. How Thank you, you so much. I'm feeling fantastic. No, let's, 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 let's just have a little look. No, 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 I, no, 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 no. I seriously, I just want to look at you, it. Do, would you want to have a go? No, I you don't. You might find your really life is transformed. I do love it. I want you, at some stage, maybe when you are sitting down, write a list on your phone of the friends that you lost touch with. So think about who you could actually pick up the phone to or email or try and get through Facebook and just say, hi, I've, you know, I'm at a net new stage in my life and I would love to reconnect with some people. Yes. It's amazing how a few of them might feel identically to you. It's a very important message. They're people I've loved over the years. Yes. And a part of me feels they'll always be there when I'm less busy. And then I think, no, I've got to actually make the time now because those friendships are very, very precious. Oh, no, Lila! She's bought her hamster. Oh, oh, my God, they're so cute! Oh, no, don't say that, Chloe. Has it bitten you yet, Lila? Is it pooing on you? Oh, it pooed on me again. Oh. <laughs> oh, Katie, you're going to meet fabulous Josh. Hello. How are you doing? Hi. What have you been doing with the colour of your hair? Have you been highlighting? Highlighting, but obviously repeated highlights. I think to really modernise the colours, two things we need to do. Mm -hmm. We first of all need to make it not look so white and yes. so kind of bleached looking, so mm -hmm. that's tonal. Yeah. 
The second thing we need to do is add a little bit of dark somewhere, so there's some contrast. Yes. I mean, when you even take all that yeah, away, yeah. and you see your, a little bit of your own hair colour coming through, still with blonde in it, it looks softer and younger than that. Mm -hmm. Let's do it! Let's do it! So I'm going to introduce some foils, just so as we can kind of get the hair looking like still nice and blonde, but then working freehand with a lot of gloss work, just so that it grows up really, really nicely and easy naturally. Louisa was a brides. I worked with her at Freeman's Mail Order Company. I don't even know if they exist anymore. And we were like really close. She was bridesmaid at my wedding. And then we lost touch. And my, then there's my sister. It's just she, she's, she's busy, I'm busy. And sometimes we don't even have time for a phone call. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what it's going to look like. For the first time in this lovely takeover show, we did the makeup in a different way. John is now making it beautiful. Lovely. Oh, 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 now, darling, what we wanted to do is we found somebody not on your list, but we asked Amy if there was a friend who you were close to who would come and see you now. Oh, look, Marianne. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> She looks like a supermodel, like a little mini supermodel. She looks unreal. <laughs> I think Trini's definitely made her see the confident person that she needs to become and maybe value herself a bit more. I feel absolutely fantastic. I've had the most amazing day. I feel like I've been transformed with the clothes and just you've given me so much advice and confidence to 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 go out there and try and forge a new a new way for myself. Both with my clothes and everything. Who is Katie from now on? She's confident, she's colourful, she's um, she's me. She's being proud to be me. Mm -hmm.